Welcome to the Steve Ames Show with guitarist Sandy Renda, pianist Mike Yanuzzi, and my special guest, concert pianist Emma Mamayeva. And now, on with the show. <laughs> Mr. Sandman, bring me a dream. Make her complexion like peaches and cream. Give her two lips like roses and clover. Then tell me that my lonesome nights are over. Sandman, I'm so alone. Ain't got nobody to call my own. So please turn on your magic beam. Mr. Sandman, bring me a dream. Mr. Sandman, bring me a dream. Make her complexion like peaches and cream. Give her two lips like roses and clover. Then tell me that my lonesome nights are over. Sandman, I'm so alone. Ain't got nobody to call my own. So please turn on your magic beam. Mr. Sandman, bring me, Sandman, bring me, Sandman, bring me a dream. <laughs> Mr. Sandman, written by Pat Ballard. And now I'd like you to meet Mr. Guitar, Sandy Renda. <laughs> and Mr. Piano, Mike Ginuzzi. Right now, some movie memories from the Warner Brothers film, Young at Heart. Here's the title tune, introduced by Frank Sinatra and written by Carolyn Lee and Johnny Richards. Fairy tales can come true. It can happen to you if you're young at heart. For as rich as you are, it's much better by far to be young at heart. You can go to extremes with impossible schemes. You can laugh at your dreams, fall apart at the seams. And life gets more exciting with each passing day. And love is either in your heart or on its way. Don't you know that it's worth every treasure on earth to be young at heart? For as rich as you are, it's much better by far to be young at heart. And if you should survive to a hundred and five, look at all you'll derive out of being alive. Here is the best part, you have a head start if you are among the very young at heart. better by far to be young at heart and if you should survive to a hundred and five look at all you'll derive out of being alive now here is the best part you have a head start if you are among the very young at heart
Sandy Randa. Good evening. Nice seeing you again. Mike Hi, Good to see you. Thank you for letting me do that uh, beautiful Young at Heart, which was introduced by Frank Sinatra, as I mentioned. You know, Frank would have had his birthday in December. He was born December 12th, 1915, in Hoboken. Right. And coincidentally, you'll be doing a Frank Sinatra song later in the show. That's right. We're doing... Polka dot, polka well, dot, well, I know that was done by him, but also many other artists, but... Uh, I, I don't know who made it big it. anyway. Yeah, Did he, he really? Okay. It. Yeah. So, Sandy, have you been busy during the holiday season? Oh, sure. Eating, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we did a couple of parties, and the Saturday we did a party at the High Lawn Pavilion in West Orange. That's a beautiful place. Beautiful, yes. Yeah. Setting Mike was with us naturally, uh, our drummer, uh, the uh, bass player, and so on. It was a party for a friend of mine, 20-year wedding anniversary. Very nice. Really nice. A beautiful the setting was beautiful. Uh, the crowd was um, uh, quiet, subdued, but they, uh, but the fellow that hired us said they really enjoyed us. Instead, he said, "Don't don't get mixed up that they're not dancing." Right. Sometimes you feel if they're not they dancing. They were listening. Beautiful. Did you do a lot of holiday it. songs? It yeah, well, it was after Christmas, but we did about five or six. Then we mixed it up with some light jazz, a little rock and roll, some ballads, some vocal things. So they really had a good time with us, I'm and I'm glad. I'm glad to hear that, yeah. Sandy. And Mike, you were busy this holiday season? Yes, we've been uh, busy, certainly with Sandy and with the band, and also with No Strings a cappella. Uh, we've been around and about. We've been doing several. Uh, we did a couple of tree lightings. We sang at a, a, uh, um, an Advent service up in Middletown, New York. It's been a very busy time for us. So now we're kind of uh, going into the new year, concentrating on building up our rep and, and working on our CD. Very good. Give out the website. It's www.nostringsacapella.com. Go check us out. There's videos there. Like us on Facebook. And uh, if you do a search on YouTube, you'll find uh, several videos of us as well. Very nice. And Sandy, as promised, you're going to do that beautiful song. Introduce it. Polka Dots and Moonbeams. Let's hear it for Polka Dots and Moonbeams and Sandy and Mike.
guest this evening is a very good friend making her fifth appearance on the show. Please welcome author and concert pianist Emma Mamayeva. <laughs> It's so nice to see you, Emma. Thank you. And tell us about those beautiful songs you just played for us. I made the medley from Waltzes by Johann Strauss. Johann Strauss Waltzes. Yes. They are beautiful. He's well known. Oh, of course. Yes. In his time, they call him King of Waltzes. King of Waltzes. That's correct. Yeah. There it's was a movie beautiful. based on his life called The Great Waltz. Great Waltz. You right. saw that. That's right. right. So do you have beautiful a large movie. repertoire of Johann Strauss waltzes? You do yes, a lot of them? Yes, yes. I play today just, just part of it. That was right, yes. But it's a lot. The Vienna Woods waltz and Blue Danube and many more oh, well-known yes. waltzes. That's right. And do you have a large yeah. repertoire of classical music? Yes. Would you say well. that's where most of your songs, most of your numbers come from the classical repertoire? Both. Both, mm -hmm. right. And later on you'll be playing some popular songs yes, for us like you always I do. I like, I like. You popular, love Broadway popular music. and popular music yes, and classical yes. music. You're mm -hmm. very versatile. How is your mm -hmm. teaching coming along? I am busy with my students. And um, recently uh, Amazon uh, accept my books. Oh, that's my right. My books now on Amazon. And um, how many books have you written? Six. Six books on mm -hmm. how to play the piano. Yeah. Right. Name your books. Uh, one book for beginners. Beginners for 
beginner piano for everyone. And uh, my favorite books uh, about my method, how to play pop music in an easy way. And these books I put on So Amazon. give out the information where people can learn more about your books. Give out the information. Um, the book's called Play Along with Emma. And uh, it's three books. Mm. And on very, very Amazon? Interesting. On They're um, being Amazon, sold on yeah. Amazon. It's a new method, um, how to learn. It's very simple to learn, very simple to explain, and very quick to learn. And um, mostly who would be interested is teenagers and adults. And give out your website also. You have your own website. EmmaPianoStudio.com Good. And they can mm -hmm. learn about the books on your website yes. and also by going to Amazon? Yes, it's on my website as well. That's wonderful, and Emma. I'm so glad to hear that. Mm -hmm. You know, you and I have been friends for four years. Four we met years. exactly four years ago yes. in 2010. I was doing a show at the mm -hmm. Springfield Public Library yes, with it's Ed first Michaels. Yes, time I saw you. That's yeah. right, with Ed Michaels <laughs> as my accompanist, and you mm -hmm. were there in the audience with your husband, Joel. And yeah. then you called me up a couple of days later, and you mm -hmm. said that you lived in Springfield, you were my yeah, neighbor, and that neighbor. you were a concert pianist. Mm -hmm. And then I invited you to be on the show. Tonight is your fifth time on the show. Really? Yeah. Ooh. Isn't that great? <laughs> That's <laughs> Time wonderful. Flies. Time flies. That's true. Now, what are your yeah. next numbers going to be? You've got some more. Uh, next number, I make a uh, medley from songs I love. It's Girl from Ipanema, Ceci Bon, uh, Amapola, Mac and Knife, and Hello, Dolly. Very nice. I love those songs, mm -hmm. too. Let's hear it for Emma Mamayeva. Thank you, Emma. Thank you.
one of the great ladies of Hollywood would have had her 100th birthday this month. Dorothy L'Amour was born on December 10th, 1914 in New Orleans, Louisiana. Dorothy L'Amour was an actress, a singer, and a film star best known for wearing a sarong. Dorothy made over 50 movies and only wore a sarong in about 10 of them, but that image is everlasting. Dorothy's films include The Hurricane, The Fleet's Inn, My Favorite Brunette, and The Greatest Show on Earth. Yes, Dorothy L'Amour had it all. Beauty, talent, and personality. When Madame Pompadour was on a ballroom floor, said all the gentlemen, obviously, the madam has the cutest personality. And think of all the books about Dubarry's looks. What was it made her the toast of Perry? She had a well-developed personality. Think of Romeo and Juliet, Piero and Pierrette, Jupiter and Juno, you know. And when Salome danced and had the boys in trance, no doubt it must have been easy to see that she knew how to use her personality. Now why are certain girls offered certain things like sable coats and diamond rings by men who wear their spats right? That's right. Now don't you think she's smart and has the kindest heart? Oh, what a wonderful sister she'd be. Just tell you how you like her personality. 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 Jimmy Van Usen and Johnny Burke wrote that song for Dorothy to sing in the Paramount film, The Road to Utopia. You can't talk about Dorothy L'Amour without talking about her famous co-stars, Bing Crosby and Bob Hope. Crosby, Hope, and L'Amour made seven road pictures together. The first was The Road to Singapore in 1940. Then came The Roads to Zanzibar, Morocco, Utopia, Rio, Bali, and the last road picture, The Road to Hong Kong in 1962. So we close off our Dorothy L'Amour centennial celebration with a song from the Paramount film, The Road to Morocco, written by Jimmy Van Usen and Johnny Burke. Comes you, it goes with your hair. You certainly know the right things to wear. Moonlight becomes you. I'm thrilled at the sight, and I could get so romantic tonight you're all dressed up to go dreaming now don't tell me i'm wrong what a night to go dreaming mind if i tag along if i say i love you I want you to know it's not just because there's moonlight, although moonlight becomes you so.